The long-awaited first trial of a Khmer Rouge leader has opened in the Cambodian capital Phnom Penh, 30 years after the fall of the murderous regime. A former prison commander known as Doik is charged with war crimes and crimes against humanity over Cambodia's 1970s killing fields atrocities. He's accused of personally overseeing the torture and extermination of more than 15,000 men, women and children. Four other key Khmer Rouge leaders are also awaiting trial. Finally in the dock, this is the man accused of being the Khmer Rouge's chief torturer and the first of the regime's leaders to stand trial over its 1970s killing spree. Kangekev, known as Comrade Doik, is a former maths teacher who's alleged to have sent more than 15,000 Cambodians to their deaths. Monsieur Kangekev. His trial before a UN-backed genocide tribunal in Phnom Penh is a historic day for Cambodians that's also drawn huge international interest. 30 years, one month, one week uh, since the overthrow of the regime. It's something many, many Cambodians thought they would never live to see. And here today we're embarking on that road. The Khmer Rouge's four-year reign of terror wiped out almost one quarter of Cambodia's population. Starvation, overwork and execution claimed up to two million lives as the regime emptied Cambodian cities in a fanatical bid to turn society back to an agrarian year zero. It's been a long road to justice for the people of Cambodia and for Australia's Cambodian community. Cambodian-born lawyer Lena Chong lost her brothers and a sister in the killing fields. Of course, it's a, a, a very frustrating to, uh, for waiting for 30 years uh, to come to this uh, stage. But at least uh, the, uh, some of the people can see that the justice can be done. A British photographer discovered Doik living in a remote jungle village in 1999. A convert to Christianity, he is said to have expressed regret over the past. He has the key to unlock the secrets of the Khmer Rouge, which was a highly secretive organisation. And still to this day, nobody is completely certain how the orders for the killings were carried out, who gave them, how they were transmitted and how they were interpreted. Doik is the first of five Khmer Rouge leaders to go on trial, and he may be the only one brought to account. His co-defendants are all old men in poor health. And the man most wanted for Cambodia's atrocities will never face justice. Pol Pot, the Khmer Rouge's notorious founder, died in 1998. Vesna Nasal, World News Australia.